Hey guys, how's it going? This is Pocket, and today I'm gonna show you how to transfer photos or videos from your iPhone to your computer. So this works on Mac and Windows, and of course on Linux. So let's get started. So there are two ways to transfer photos from your iPhone to your computer. The first method is using a cable and the second method is without cable. So it means you can transfer photos using only Wi-Fi. Where both of the both of your computer and your iPhone have to be connected to the same network. So uh, so first I'm gonna show you how to transfer photos having a using a cable. So if you have a Mac, it's very simple, you just connect your iPhone and then photos will automatically open. So here I have uh, took some pictures of my home and if I want to transfer them to my computer, I'm just going to uh, hit command and hit all so I can select all of them or simply just drawing a box uh, all of the pictures will be, will be easier and then I'm going to click on import all new photos to my computer. So this will take a short time and depends on your photos and the kind if they are videos or photos. So anyway, uh, so this is how to transfer photos using a Mac. But if you have a PC, which most of you will have PC of course, uh, you, you can connect again your iPhone to your computer and then navigate to my computer or this PC if you have a Windows 8 or Windows 10 and then you should see um, Apple iPhone. Just click on that and you should see a folder. So actually an uh, Windows only can access to the photos or videos from the iOS device. They can access to uh, music or all the stuff. So uh, just click on, this for on, on these folders and then once you click on both of these folders then you should see your photos. So then you can drag them and select them all and then you can drag them to uh, photos folder or to Windows. So then you have transferred uh, successfully photos from your iPhone to uh, your computer. So the second way is a little bit more tricky is using Wi-Fi. So you don't need to do anything, just turn on your Wi-Fi on your computer and on your um, iPhone. But this is not going to work if your computer doesn't have a wireless card into it. So I'm going to get rid of this window right now. And I'm going to navigate to my iPhone, so I'm going to turn on my iPhone. And then you, you have to download this app called Wi-Fi Photo, which is free from App Store, of course. And once you have downloaded, just launch it as always. And uh, just click OK to manage your photos. And what you need to do here is to copy this um, link on your iPhone to your browser. So uh, let me go quickly to on Safari and I'm going to copy paste them. I'm going to copy paste the link. Uh, continue. Okay, so I'm going to do this very quickly. Okay, there we go. So um, once you, you once you do this, actually he will uh, will represent you all the fo all the folders that you have on your uh, iPhone. So what you you can do here is you can click on camera roll or my photo stream or center. I'm gonna click on camera roll, and what I can do is I can um, download in zip. So I'm gonna click on download in zip, and I'm gonna select a range or I'm gonna click all of them basically. So once uh, you have selected the range, actually this is the last photo, and below it's the first one. Uh, just click on download selected. Uh, 74 pictures. So I'm gonna do this as a test to see uh, how well it works. It's preparing the files, and there you go. You have download the actually your photos now are downloading to uh, your computer. Uh, this will take some time to download, I suppose. So yeah, see the uh, number here change. So this will take a couple of minutes. I don't know how how long this will take, but actually it's better than nothing because you're using, using Wi-Fi actually downloads from your iPhone then goes to the computer and then they download it. So actually these photos won't going to upload to the internet so don't worry about that. Actually everything is safe. So uh, don't, be a, don't be afraid if I am using Mac. So this works on Windows as well. So you just click on your browser, type the link that 
is on the on the your device. So actually, this works on iPad and iPod as well. And then you copy paste it. And then you uh, go right here. So, so this is pretty simple. Then you click on the folder you want to wish to download, or even uh, you can download one image. So it's not necessary to download all of them. So uh, yeah. So that was everything for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook fan page, and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch my latest videos, my latest tutorials. And I'm gonna see you in my next video. So see you there.